And so in, speaking of relationships, so I went to, you know, I was told the story earlier uh, how I went to Michigan this year. And my goal at that point was not to go anywhere for several weeks because I wanted to go home and pack and, you know, take some time off and get, a, get rid of the house. We go to Michigan. And again, what we went up to Michigan for, these were, these were high, volume, high volume, low paying claims. They were easy to do. They were real simple. You didn't even write a GLR. You had just a form that you filled out that was an, an exactimate. Yeah. You took pictures. You, you slapped together an estimate. You know, uh, they just wanted something to start with. They didn't want, you know, the whole thing done. They just wanted where, you know, kind of where they're starting at. And it was fast and easy stuff, low paying, but it was easy. You could knock out several a day. But at the same time, there was two other carriers that you were running claims for up there that you didn't get that many. And I got two total loss fires. Okay. I got two total loss fires yeah. in that two and a half weeks, three weeks I was up there. Now, I'll just tell you the lowest amount that That'll I got paid keep on you one What's that? Yeah, so... No, I said that'll keep what, you busy. Well, that one total loss fire on the first one I did, which was the cheapest one I did, $11,000 is what my cut of the fee schedule was. Okay? Yeah. And so to sit there and say, I am not going to run this cheap crap, okay, because it's below me or because it's not enough or it just doesn't pay enough, I wouldn't have been in position for that. And I did two of those back-to-back -back weeks. Okay. And the other one paid more than that one. Okay. So yeah. you don't get yourself into positions to get that kind of work being by being ultra picky. You know, now if you've been in the business 20 years, yeah. you know, and you've got a, and you've proven yourself and I people know to call you for those type of claims. I, I'm telling you right now, if, if a company calls me and say, Hey James, I've got a total loss fire in Detroit. I'm on a plane in 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> because I know right. what it can pay. Yeah. All right. It'll be more than, I mean, I'll, I'll make plenty of money off of it, but I don't get to those and positions. you saved their butts. You saved their right. rear runs, the I firm and the carrier because nobody else wanted it. Right. Well, I was in position to be able to do it. And, and, but I, I, I took the work to put me in position to do that. And then I had some builder risk claims that paid really good. You know, I mean, they were building some new uh, contractor was building three new homes in a the neighborhood. They got demolished by two and a half inch, three inch hell, siding, roofs, windows, everything, you know, none of those claims were less than $50,000, you know, paid great, you know, why did I get yeah. those? I took the cheap stuff, you know? And so that three weeks that I went yeah. up there, okay, the two and a half, three weeks I was up there, you know, I made almost 40 grand in that period of time. Okay. I, I first went up there going, I'm not making any money. I'm going to go up there. This is going to suck. But you know what? I'd made so much money off this comp off this IA firm this year, I was willing to go do it because, again, they've taken care of me throughout the year. I went up there yeah. and made stupid money in a short period of time. So people need to get over yeah. themselves. <laughs> I mean, I take everything. Yeah. I say no to nothing. So yeah. Yeah, and you can't, I've been you in can't, Arizona now for two weeks. I've done two total loss fires since I've been in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. And, and as a new person, you, you don't have any room to be picky. You just really, you just truly don't. You know, you can, people can say, well, the very first thing you need to say when you, when you, when they call you for a deployment is, is to negotiate the pay, you're just kick, you're just shooting your own foot. I mean, don't just take the work, say yes, it pays what it pays. You don't have a leg to stand on to negotiate. Take it. You're not going to get more than a few chances to turn down work or if they say, well, this is all it pays. And if you're not going to do it for that, then, then we'll just skip you this time. There's only, you're, they're going to make a note in your file every time they call you and you say no. And they're going to say, well, what was the reason? Decline because they wanted remote work. Decline because they didn't like to pay. Decline because there wasn't mileage. Decline this, decline that. All right, well, I don't, we just, maybe we'll put this person back on the reserve roster to only be called when there's like a giant hurricane. Then we need everybody, right? Don't have a leg to stand on to do this stuff. You're not going to get a lot of chances. Um, it's, it doesn't, it's not going to be this way forever, right? You're not no, going to have to like take the garbage deployments and you're not going to be offered that stuff forever. Um, but you take what you can get to start and that's how you build that foundation because you're going to learn things on every deployment you go on that will build your skill set, will build those relationships and ultimately uh, will build your, your, your income to the point to where you can say, yeah, you know, I do make six figures doing this and I'm not kicking my own butt all over the place, you know, 
doing it. I'm, I'm, I've worked myself into a position by, by making good choices, by working hard to uh, get to a point to where I can handle the work and I'm making the income that I want to make. Right? It takes time. It takes time. We weren't born running. You know? <laughs> no, we weren't. <laughs> I mean, it just, there's, You've got to take the good with the bad too. I mean, even as an experience, I mean, I know some guys that they're they're pretty picky, you know. But I will say this: so we talked about the one, you know. There's some people that are get on there and say you're going to make X amount of dollars a year, okay. And one guy in particular that I've already mentioned that I love the guy to death, and he's a friend of mine, and we, you know, we we banter back and forth. He did some videos a while back where he talked about his average per claim that he was trying to make was about $350, 330, 350 bucks or something like that. Okay. Do the math. Okay. Do the math. Okay. If you're talking about this is how many, if, if he's saying that you're going to make all this money and his average is $350 a claim, do the math, how many claims he's having to do to make that. Okay. A that's lot. A, all, that's a lot of claims to be able to do that. So what does it actually look like when adjusters with decades of experience between them scope a hail damaged house on video? What about how to actually do a claim in Xactimate? What is stability and how do you even get started in it? What if there was one place, one huge and expanding library of property claims suggesting videos showing how it's done? What if there were also complete Xactimate certifications as well as the latest and most up-to-date Xactimate mobile training? You know, what if? What if the dream was a reality? Get started for free binging all the desk and field claims adjusting videos you can stand right now at adjustertvplus.com. Think of it as a virtual ride-along. Speaking of ride-alongs, click here to get right along to the next video because it's a, well, do you see how it's, it's a pun, you see? Ride along, get it right, just move right along versus ride along, it's right along, get right along to it.